Okay, let's just see what's in here. I uh, bought a pile of stuff on eBay, and these these are parts in this bag are parts of pens that when they're put together look like this. Sometimes they look like this with the gold fill cap. But all of the ones in here have the nib that was supposed to, to sort of imitate the Parker 51. But the difference between a Parker 51 and a Waterman Taperite, stately Taperite, or whatever they were called, Taperite, is that the there's more nib showing so you can actually come up with a flexible nib so even though these pens are generally dismissed for good reason because they were copying the Parker 51 which was perfect and really any form of imitation was not flattery it was just an insult sort of to the beauty of this. You know, this this is like a beautiful imagine a beautiful woman. Let's pretend it's Zsa, Zsa Gabor. Here's Zsa, Zsa Gabor. And this is a drag queen pretending to be Zsa, Zsa Gabor. I mean it's just insulting, don't you think? So but the nice thing about these pens that the 51 doesn't have is that they are they are flexible somewhat so anyway this was a pile of pens that had all of them were broken and taken apart and i was hoping i'm hoping that i will be able to create three or four working pens out of this pile so you're with me right now looking through this you're seeing them. Oh. I didn't realize this came from Mad Mercantile. Well, it came from Mad Mercantile. So let's see if I can do anything with them. Um, now, one of the things about when I buy old pens like this is I often have, I've got parts like this too, but I might, but I'm low on nibs. I need more nibs. So hopefully this nib will, will make a pen work. Um, so nibs are always important, but I, you know, sometimes the caps are fun, especially if they have engravings on them. I like engravings. See, this is a cap only a mother would love, only its mother, with its brassing and patina. Yeah, these are pretty rough, but that's what, that's what they're supposed to be. It's supposed to be rough. Um, but hopefully there'll be three or four nibs that I'll be able to make work and be able to get the pens from my hands into your hands. This one is warped. Um, often these sections were sort of stuck in the pens really, you know, they're really hard to get apart. And this is what happens. You end up breaking. You're, you're trying to get it apart and crack. There goes the barrel. So that could have been what happened, and rather than fussing with it, just put them on eBay and hope someone buys them. And that someone in this case is me. But this looks like it's not broken, and this looks like it's, well, it might fit. It's the same color, but they're all hand laid, they're all slightly different, and if I try putting this in, this could break. So again, Right now, I've got a bunch of part pieces that don't mean anything, but maybe, just maybe, in the end of the day, I'll have a pen like this. It'll have a beautiful line, and you know, it'll go from my hands to your hands, and you'd be able to do beautiful drawings with this kind of stuff, the beautiful lettering. Or write that novel because that's that is the thing this pen can do this and the 51 that this is trying to imitate is cannot do that this pen has is its own beauty 
in its own perfection that any of its imitators did not have. All this is Zsa Zsa Gabor. It, you know, yes, she had a nice sister and another nice sister, but I'm losing my train of thought. Any any of its Im impersonators were bad. No one lived up to this. So even though this is someone in drag pretending to be Zsa Zsa Gabor with heavy pancake makeup covering their five o'clock shadow, it can still write a lot more expressively than a Parker 51. So if you want a pen to write expressively, this works better than the Parker 51. So that's all I'm saying. The end.